mountain high enough, no valley low enough, and no river wide enough to keep you from the All Germany Media Fest Awards. No matter how far, just call my name. I'll be there in a hurry. On that you can depend and never worry. No rain, no rain, no rain. No rain. No rain. No I'm Elizabeth Nee, and this is Luis Rivera. We are proud to welcome you to the award ceremony of the Dodds All Germany Media Fest Finals. Dodds Media Fest is in its seventh year. It was created as a showplace for student work in a variety of mediums. The first Media Fest were held as All Germany events. As the number of entries grew each year, Regional Fest came into being. Each district office sp sponsors a local festival with entries are judged. The judging is on a rating scale of superior, excellent, very good, and good. All entries rated are rated on the basis of category guidelines, one of which is that each product must be entirely of student work. All non-original work must be credited. 
These products rated as superior entries go on to the All Germany finals. And finals to be judged against the superiors from other DSO areas. Receiving superior ratings at the finals are truly the best of the best. We will share some of these superiors with you tonight as we honor students who devoted tremendous time and energy to their award-winning production. There are eight Media Fest categories. For each one, we will give you an overview of the category, its rules, and the way a product may be created. Then we will share with you the highlights of a few entries which have been named superior in all Germany. Awards will then be given for that category. Please sit back and enjoy our presentation as we bring you to an understanding of the Dodge Media Fest and its value to the students. <laughs> set category has been in the Media Fest for only two years. The object is to produce an illustrated book with recorded sound. Credit must be given to all non-original work. For example, a student may choose to adapt a published poem or story, but the original author must be named. Often sound effects can enhance the tape recording. Students have great fun, great fun in planning and including sound effects in their tapes. The tape for a book set can no run no longer than seven minutes. It must include a tone to indicate when the page must be turned. We want to share with you some of the superior entries in book and cassette, and then we will give out the awards. Penguin by Jamesina Simpson, Rainbow Elementary School, Grade 1, February 26, 1988. Song from the Book, Songs and Stories About Animals by E. Crowninshield. Violin Duet by my mother and me. Front cover is from a school pattern. When you hear, turn the page. Peter, Peter, penguin marching by, toes turned out and his head held high, long black coat and a clean white vest, Peter, Peter, Penguin, you're the best. Once upon a time, there was a penguin named Peter. He had wings, but he could not fly. <coughs> Peter was an excellent swimmer. <coughs> Peter lived at the South Pole, where it is very, very cold. He had 50 friends and they all lived 
together in the same rookery. A rookery is a place where a bunch of penguins live together. Adventures in Wonderland, story and illustrations by Allison Torby. Please turn the page when you hear this sound. Let's begin. Oh, how boring, whined Tina. We played that game last night. I wish we had something else to do that wasn't so far away. Tina, Tina, shouted Tom in an excited voice. Dad just drove in from town. Look, children, I brought you something to play with. Oh, Dad, said the children with wide eyes as they cuddled the puppy. How can we ever thank you? The next morning, Tom and Tina woke up very early, and to their surprise, the pup was gone. They searched all over the house, and he was nowhere to be found. So the children set on an adventure to find him. They walked through a dark, clustered forest, and the puppy was nowhere. They began to get frightened, and suddenly, at the end of the forest, was some sort of wonderland. When they saw it, they were shocked. How far had they gone through the forest? Maybe the pup was in there. They ran to the Wonderland. The Dragon Book, written and illustrated by Wildfuck in fourth grade tag class. The vicious dragon is flying in the high clouds when he seeks his dinner. <laughs> The ancient dragon is eating a banquet while his friends are over. The terrible, strange dragon crouches in his treasures while feasting on a samurai. The starving dragon attacks its dinner when the church bell rings six times. Chocolate Layer Cake by Olivia Pizard. At the sound of the turn the page. My name is Percival. I'm a penguin, a fat penguin. Last Monday, I went on a diet. Well, sort of. I came to school with my mind made up not to eat any sweets or snacks. I brought an apple and cheese for my lunch. When lunchtime rolled around, I was very hungry. I quickly gulped down my tiny meal. Mm -hmm. But I was not full. Paul, my best friend, had two delicious looking brownies in his lunch. He asked me if I would like one. How could I refuse? Well, what's one little brownie on a diet? On the way home from school, I ran into Sally. Yuck. She's in love with me. Hi, Percival, she cooed. Hello, Sally, I mumbled. Would you like to come home with me? I've got some snacks, she asked. No, I yelled. I'm on a diet. Aw, oh, that's too bad. I baked a special cake for you, she said. The computer category is next on our list. Computer programming is a time-consuming process which requires concentration and dedication. Yes, but we still have some fantastic entries. Grade levels participate in classes, after school clubs, and independent sessions leading to Media Fest entries. Do you know anything about computers, Elizabeth? Well, of course I do. Don't be ridiculous. I'll just load this program and show you. Watch.
Let me try it. There must be a bug in my computer. Hmm. Luckily, some students have better luck than we do. Let's have a few. Let's have a look at a few programs, and then it will be time to give out superiors for computers. I turned this have, thing yeah, off. Yeah, I know.
let's move on to the photo storyboard category. The storyboard is the only category in the media fest which does not require sound. All photos must be taken by students. We will show you some superior storyboards. Remember, the sound you hear was our idea and did not come with the storyboards. This is a fun way to tell a story as well as learn how to take pictures, especially if you plan well, take your time, and get everything done well in advance. After we take a look at these superiors, we'll be ready to hand out awards for storyboards. Photography is required in the slides and cassette category also. The slides and cassette category has a seven minute time limit. All slides must be taken by students. Tapes must either be synced on a bell and howl, howl ringmaster or have a sound which lets judges know when to change slides. Let's have a look at some of our superiors and then meet their producers as they accept their awards. Humble Pie by Colleen Donovan. Hi, I'm Zachariah Jonathan Stuckup, Jr. the Fourth. You can call me Zach. Everyone else does. Well, I'll get to the point and tell you why I'm here. Let's see. It all started with... Class, the principal would like some volunteers for putting up the Valentine's Day decorations. Would anyone like to volunteer? I hadn't been paying attention to what she was saying, but when she mentioned volunteers, I perked up. I hate to brag, but I'm fairly good at, well, everything. I looked around, but nobody else was paying attention to me. Life in Times of Baby. By Candy Bird and Christina Van Y. Hi, my name is Baby. I'm a week old. I think I'm very grown up. A light. I can almost see the world. One or two more pushes and I'll be out of my shell into the wild world. What you see beside me is the afterbirth. That is what fed me while I was in the egg. Thanks to my friends that put water to humidify my incubator, the embryo did not stick to me. I'm resting here drying off. 
It was hard work to get out of my shell. I don't have to eat for the first 12 hours so I can roam around and get beautiful. Special, special projects are, is a category that more and more students are entering. It allows you to use more than one kind of media. For example, here's a diorama and a cassette tape. And here's trans, a transparency show and a poster. All sorts of combinations are possible. There's a time limit of seven minutes for special projects. The one basic rule is that the project must include sound. Superior ratings were given for the following special projects. Right after you see the entries, we will have the awards. by the cave, snorting, grunting, and faint noises scaring me to death. Then I saw him, as plain as I see you. Who? Big as four cart horses, covered with shiny scales, claws, and a tail. That's for certain he had. Don't worry, Father. It's only a dragon. Hey, that oh. and that and oh. that and that. By Jimmy Ty. Clinsville. Have you ever heard of a town called Clinsville? Well, that's where I live. My name is Ajax. My mother's name is Tidy, and my father's name is Whisk. It's a small, strange town because everything is so orderly. The people are orderly, too. They never have time to sit or talk or play games. All they have time for is to clean. Now, when I say clean, I don't mean once a month. I mean every day, hour, minute, and second. They are so clean that they even polish their mailboxes, wax the driveways, dust the flowers, shine the leaves, and even paint the grass when it turns brown. The town doesn't even have cars because they give off too much smoke, so they all ride bicycles instead. The library doesn't have books on history or animals. It only has books on cleaning, all 356 of them. So now you know why the town is called Clensville. 
One day, while I was shining the leaves and dusting the flowers, a big moving truck with loud music playing and a smoky exhaust pipe drove by. I quickly ran after it, making sure that no one saw me. I followed the dirty moving truck, which gave off that smoky smell, all the way down the street to the house that was just built. When I got back to my house, there was a lot of commotion about the smoky smell of the truck. Everyone talked about the unknown smell. The Intergalactic War. The Intergalactic Warriors greet you and hope you have an exciting tour of our kingdoms. We have some very interesting places here, and I'm going to show you some of them. I'm speaking to you in English, thanks to our translator device, which translates everything I say into any language I wish. I should warn you now that because of the high radiation level, we advise against humans visiting us without proper protection from radiation poisoning. On to our three landmarks. First is Colossal Valley, which used to be Mount Colossal, a mountain three times the size of Mount Everest until the Yosemians blew it to so much dust. We also have Mount Rogue, a mountain only two times the size of Mount Everest. Last but not least is the deadly toxic cave. The rivals of the Yosemians pets, the battering rams, are our pets, the renegades, which breathe fire to mount the Yosemians' rubber-coated skin. Our government consists of one supreme ruler who has absolute power over the Canadians and how they fight the war. His energy makeup is different from the rest of his people and it distinguishes him from other Crenalians. Our homes have five floors with two energizing benches on each floor. Forty-four Crenalians fit on each bench. Teachers use transparencies in their classrooms to illustrate points. However, transparencies can become a form of art if they tell a story. Transparency shows begin when a student writes a story and draws pictures to illustrate it. Pictures are put through a thermofax machine in order to put them permanently on the transparency. Then colored with permanent markers. Green here. Purple glasses. Wow! Now I have all my pictures done. I have to make a cassette. I'll gather up some sound effects and get ready to tape. I hope I don't forget the bell to tell the judges when to change the pictures. And I had to remember the seven minute time limit. Let's have a look at three superior shows. Then the award will follow. This is Miss Oswald's Morning Kindergarten Class, Commissary County from Miss Oswald's Morning Kindergarten Class. We are going to shopping for food. And we bought one package of M&M's. Two little bananas. Three delicious donuts. flag and a pledge of allegiance to the flag. Every day we see the American flag at our school.
We see soldiers standing at attention when the flag is raised and lowered. We have seen the American flag carried in parades, and we have all said the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. We wonder, why is the American flag so important, and what does the Pledge of Allegiance mean? Our flag is important because it is a symbol of our nation. Our flag means people, big and little people, the famous and the unknown. It means you and me. When you hear the footsteps, change the transparency. The Tale of Rita Rabbit by Laurel Hale and Priscilla Smith. Once there was a rabbit named Rita. Her father was King Rupert, and he ruled over the Kingdom of Carrots. In the Kingdom of Carrots, there was a mine, but this was no ordinary mine. It was the Kingdom's treasure, because any time somebody kicked it, 100 carrots poured out of it. Well, the rabbits from other kingdoms wanted a mine that would give 100 carrots when it was kicked. One day, some robbers stole 2,000 carrots from the mine. All of the townspeople were too scared to catch them. So this is where the story begins. Rita, there you are. I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, Father, I've just got to catch them. I've got to. Catch who, dear? Why, the robbers, of course. But, Rita, you know that the princesses don't catch robbers. I know, Father, but none of the other people will. I would do anything for my kingdom. Well, hmm. all right. Bye, Father. Bye, everybody. by Catherine Wears, Carlsruhe American Elementary School, 5th grade. Welcome to my imagination, the wonderful world of mixed up animals. Look at the top of this page. This strange hissing animal is a just snake. It likes to eat, slither and eat leaves off trees. The small animal at the bottom is a dog bit. It eats bones and carrots. It chases cats and gets into people's gardens. The animal at the top is a duark. It eats breadcrumbs and meat. It also likes to swim, quack, and scare people. At the bottom is the famous rakir. It eats honey and fish. It likes to run around and play. The burrow at the top eats acorns and fish. It likes to climb trees and chop them down. Basic Piano Instruction Pictured is Ludwig von Beethoven, a famous composer. A great many of his compositions were written for piano. For most people, listening to these compositions is enough. But for a few of us, actually playing Beethoven on the piano is a goal. Production is a complex process. 
It is made more difficult for students because so many judges look at the projects according to what they see on television and in movies. Some schools have sophisticated equipment, but most have a camera and a VCR to use in their, in, to use in their productions. Yet students are capable of making masterpieces. We have video entries from kindergarten through grade 12. Video has been divided into two categories. Category A includes things as such things as plays, documentaries, news shows, etc. The time limit for Category A is 10 minutes. Please take a good look at these superiors from Category A video and then welcome the producers they receive their awards. Teddy Bear got his name from. Let's try another word. Okay, how about butterfly? Okay. Long ago, some people believed that witches changed into butterflies. Some people thought that butterflies flew into houses and stole butter. some butter. I think I'll turn into a butterfly and go steal me some butter. That's how a butterfly got its name. Category B video has a, a time limit of five minutes and includes three types of videos. Music videos, computer graphic videos, and animated videos. Again, the judges have a hard time here because they are so used to watching the elaborate music videos produced by the professionals. Also, not many people know how incredibly difficult it is to do any type of animation. For example, one claymation done by Neubrucker, which was entered in the special projects category took six hours to film. Six hours just to get a video of seven minutes. And that six hours didn't include the editing and audio recording time. Yet Dodge students always seem to hang in there and get the projects done. Let's have a look at the category B superiors. Then we'll give out awards to these well-deserving students. Yeah. 
Two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Put your flat bags on. Join me, hot. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till the rock daylight. We're gonna rock, we're gonna rock around the clock tonight. What's that, honey? Pick you up at eight and don't be late. But baby, I ain't got no money, honey. <laughs> oh, all right, honey, you know what I like. Chantilly lace and a pretty face on a tail, a hanging down, a wiggle in the walk and a giggle in the talk. Lord, made the world go round. Like a big-eyed girl and make me act so funny Make me spend my money Make me feel real loose Like a long neck goose And like a girl Oh, baby, that's what I like An invisible man Sleeping in your bed Oh, who you gonna call? Why they were looking for me? When you see her, say a prayer and kiss your goodbye. She's trouble in a world be close to the fire. When that flu, the laughter burns you up inside. You're spinning round and round, you can't get off your chair, but you can. Esta niña,
for the Media Fest Finals. We appreciate your interest and show that, and know that the students who prepared projects are thrilled by your support. We would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the students who made projects for this year's Media Fest. While not all of you could receive superiors at the finals, we believe that all of you are truly winners for having the dedication to complete a project. And very special congratulations to the project rated superiors at the finals. You are the best of the best. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Louise. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.